Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for taking the time out of your day and checking out this video. Today's video is going to be a small homeworks haul. I mean small. <laughs> um, yeah, very small. I know that my channel has been a little homeworks heavy recently, but when people are delivering sales, new fragrances, free shipping, rewards, affiliate codes, it's tempting to stay away. So Harry Slacken has just been killing it with releasing candles, giving us good sales, good free shipping, being able to use codes. Like, how is a girl to resist? <laughs> Seriously though, like, it's, it's bad. It's bad. But I just, you know, I gotta give credit where credit is due and I've been really loving homeworks recently. So I'm sorry if it's not your jam or if you really don't like the candles, but it's just, it's working for me. So that's, that's what the channel is doing right now. Okay, let's get into this homeworks haul. He dropped some newness and a returning favorite and I picked him up. So the brand new one is Snickerdoodle and look at that, you guys, look at that gorgeous label. So good. Set notes are freshly baked cookie, sugar crystals, cinnamon, and warm vanilla. Now I was hesitant, hesitant to pick this up because his cinnamon sugar fragrances are just like beat to death. We have hot cider donut, we have cinnamon French toast, we have sugar beignets. They all smell the same. And I was really hoping that this one wouldn't smell like those. You know what I mean? I wanted something different. And I'm happy to report that it doesn't smell the same. However, this just doesn't wow me on cold. It's good. It is definitely different. I get a cookie note in here, but I don't know. I feel like I hyped it up in my head to be really, really good and different, but it's just kind of like a basic cookie scent with a little bit of cinnamon sugar in it, you know? Which isn't bad, because I, I like basic scents, but I don't know, I feel like I wanted like warm, gooey cookie with like crispy edges. So maybe this will do something outstanding when lit, but right now it just doesn't like blow me out of the water is the best cookie bakery scent I've ever had. It's good, it's decent, it's not bad, it's not the same as the other scents, which is amazing. So it is different, but I have other gourmand fragrances that I like more than this one, but I'm still gonna burn it, I'm still gonna love it. It's white wax, the four wicks as usual. It did come with the cheapy lid, but that's easily replaceable, no big deal. So we're gonna see what she does on, on warm. We are not counting her out yet, not yet. Then we have Simply Pumpkin. This one does not have a wraparound label, just has orange wax. The other Simply line, I would have loved this in an orange frosted glass. Oh, that would have been so pretty, but that's okay. This is an autumnal combination of pumpkins from around the nation, including fairy tale, ghost, and jack-o'-lantern, mixed to create a sensation that is festive and pure. So, a pumpkin fragrance. <laughs> and this is orange, really pretty orange wax for wicks. I was like really, really hoping, joking, hoping that this would be like a pumpkin guts scent, like, spoon in the pumpkin type of scent and unfortunately it's not this to me has added stuff in it spices but not spicy no no no, not spicy like a brown sugar almost to it as well it really really reminds me of the canned pumpkin pie mix that you can buy not the 100 percent pumpkin be pure pumpkin the pumpkin pie mix that's what this reminds me of a lot. So it's not a pure pumpkin, like pumpkin guts, pumpkin rinds, like a pumpkin, like straight pumpkin. This to me smells like a pumpkin pie mix. You know what I mean? It's got some more stuff in there than just pumpkin to my nose. Brown sugar comes out. I mean, like a little bit of cardamom and cinnamon kind of mixed in, but it's not spicy. It really just smells like pumpkin pie mix. So it's not bad, definitely good, I like it. I think this is gonna be great for people who don't per, like lean towards the very spicy pumpkins for fall. This is great, cause it's not spicy, no, no, no. It's really pretty, but I'm, I'm, I'm hoping the candle company can give me like pumpkin guts, you know what I mean? Like a bright 
raw pumpkin. L3 has an oil that's very close, like really good. It's called pumpkin carving. Mm -mm 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 -mm. It is good. It has like this little bit of lemon to so just brighten it. It's so good. So I was hoping this would be like that, but it's not, but it's not bad. I like it. I think it'll be a one and done for me. I think that that's good. So we're going to burn her. We'll see what she does. Now on for the on to the star of this show. <laughs> Praline Pecan, a returning favorite. This is pecan, creamy toffee, whipped vanilla, and almond butter. Again, returning favorite here, and I am so happy he brought it back so I could try it. Now, this label, I think it's disgusting looking. It's got like these holes <laughs> with like gunk and goo in them. I get it, it's pre like pecans, but it freaks me out. <laughs> This wax color is also gorgeous. So pretty. And you guys, this is so good. <laughs> this is so good. It is beautiful. It is like warm and cozy and a little bit heavy. Bakery, or not not bakery, just a gourmand fragrance. Like this, but it's not so heavy and so sweet that it's over cooling. It's like just the right amount. It smells like chopped pecans, like covered in yumminess <laughs> it really smells like just like what's on this label it smells like like a crunch that you would put on a crumble or a pie or something something like the topping like there's no bakery aspect to it. it's just gourmand and it's good though it is real good i i really really like this <laughs> once there is a better sale yeah i think probably two are gonna jump in the cart I don't want to do that because I'm trying not to do that, but it's really good. Once the weather cools down, like cools down, she's coming out. She's coming out to play because it is, it is a little bit deeper, darker gourmand. So I'm thinking November, December, late November, early December for this one, but so good, delicious. If you like gourmands, you gotta try Praline Pecan. It is not too sweet, I'm telling you. Because the toffee note, I was scared with that toffee, but it is not too sweet. And the almond butter just like, oh, gives it this delicious depth to it. It is so good, it's so good. Oh my goodness, yeah. So, as for what's coming for homeworks, he's starting to move on to holiday stuff. That's not my jam. So once the fall stuff goes on sale, we are in there. I'm gonna pick up more Praline Pecan more white pumpkin, more basket of apples, maybe a few other things, banana maple pancakes, yes, that one's so good too. So once the fall stuff goes on sale again, I'm, I'm gonna do another haul, I'm gonna do some damage because it's so good, they're so yummy, so yummy. So anyway, let me know down below if you have bought anything from Homeworks recently, have you been shopping his new releases? I mean, it's a lot of newness, a lot. <laughs> Let me know down below. Thank you guys so, so much for watching and I will see you in my next one.